What's going on Facebook and Instagram? Today, guess where we are? I'm not gonna tell you yet. I'm gonna show you. Look around at the scenery, everyone. We're in the Bishop Arts District. I gotta say district because my wife told me I wasn't gonna say it right on camera. So that is for my wife. I just wanna say thank you to all of my followers, but guess what? Guess what you gotta do before we get any further? You gotta hit that button below. Look below. This says subscribe. Thank ya! Hey, Juan. Hey, what's up, man? You need me to get you something to eat? Yeah, what's up, man? We hey, I came and dropped off Sam real quick, you know? Hey, man, that's what's up. Like, check this out. She says, we in Oak Cliff. That's, that's my hood! What? <laughs> yeah! Man, I really appreciate y'all coming out here. What are we gonna be doing today? You know, we, huh? I'm gonna go, I, I, dropped, I dropped off Sam. Okay. Oh, I but I, but I, I don't need you to go. Eat, no, man. no, man. But I don't need you to leave, bro. No, man. I have no, man. I gotta. I, you gotta hold a light for me today, because what? you. Yeah, because you're the big man. Oh yeah. You know what you know I'm saying? Because Sam, she ain't gonna be able to hold it. No, she ain't. She ain't gonna be able to hold it. <laughs> I'm gonna be using the Feiyu Tech A2000 for all my smooth cinematic shots. And speaking of smooth cinematic shots, I just updated the gimbal last night, and oh my goodness, it is sharp and smooth. So today I'm going to be shooting with the A7R Mark III for all my video needs. And I'm going to be doing shooting with the A9, which my good friend back there, Juan, is shooting this video in 4K on for all my images for today. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that now and just enjoy the video. Peace out. Alright guys, so I'm using the Sony A9 with the Sigma 135 1.8. I have one down here in this alley holding my Flashpoint 600 with the Quick Soup Bow 34. Natalie O'Neill is doing a very, very good job. I have her to Juan, what are you doing? <laughs> and Juan's over there dancing. So I'm having her to move around in poses just to see what I like. So when I get into post, I know that I have the pose that I actually need. So we have the light here, uh, camera right. I have it feathered just right off to the left-hand side, kind of facing the camera at an angle. And this is how I normally like to shoot when I'm shooting images from a distance. The light is like right outside the frame. I do three or four different poses just to find the one I actually really like. I'm about to show y'all in just one second. Here is the one that I really like the most. particular shot I have one to feather the light away from my subject because of the wall I didn't want the wall to have a hot spot and I wanted the edge of the softbox to just give her a kiss of light I also have her to raise her hand up on her body just a tad to make the pose a little more feminine and here is the shot from that Did she make your heart beat faster? 
All right, so walking around the Bishop Arch District, we found this nice park bench that I wanted to take a picture of. I saw the uh, nice flowers in the background to probably create some great bokeh. Now, one thing you have to realize is never be afraid to change your lighting. Uh, right here, I had the light feathered to the left again, and I had her to kind of move her head, but it just wasn't doing it for me, so I moved the light up. I had one to go over and move the light behind her, and I got real close. And once I did that, I found the shot that I really like. I mean, this is a super tight shot. So I really like this one right here. So we decided to pull out the Zeiss 25 F2 because I wanted a wide angle to make her body look longer. We have the light overhead because I wanted it dramatic. So I move over just a little bit to adjust my composition. And man, I got the shot that I was looking for. Here it is. Oh, a night so loveless, love. I hope it made you feel good. Knowing how much I adored you. All right, guys. So. I decided to shoot with the 25 baddest again. Okay, let's let these people walk by. It was a busy place. Uh, I'm gonna direct one to hold the light overhead and I'm gonna have our model to look to her right off towards the light, but the light is gonna be feathered towards me, towards the camera. I'm gonna shoot down low and upward because I wanna elongate her body to make her look taller. So when I take this shot, I was looking for dramatic and that's what I got. So just shooting the previous shot outside this pizza place, I saw this table that I wanted to shoot at and it looks really, really busy. Well, we're using the Cheetah Stand Quick Soup Bowl 34, double diffused with a deflector plate in it. And I have to say, that is a very, very good Octobox. It's angled down and I have it kind of feathered slightly to get almost like that Rembrandt lighting. And man, this shot is absolutely my favorite shot of the whole shoot. just wrapped up an awesome shoot with 924 photography you can find me at natalie neal on ig that's n-a-t-a-l-i-e-a-n-e-i-l don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel 924 photography boom <laughs> for all my cinematic shots yep and we're gonna be using an a7r3 mark oh shit you messed up cut